Jawtopia! Hi and welcome to Jawtopia. Today we're going to turn this photo of a beagle and transform it into a cartoon beagle. If you'd like to use the example I'm using, I've left a link in the description below. Now let's get drawing. What we're going to need is a pencil eraser, an eraser, a marker, and some coloured pens for a little later when we colour in. So what we're going to do first is very lightly is do our circles and add some lines for legs and this will make the skeleton of our character. So we're going to do a circle for the chest area and then do another circle for the back of the dog and it can be very close to the body. We're going to do the head, which is slightly bigger than the back of the dog. And then for the snout, we're going to do a circle here. And it can be a bit of an oval shape if you like, or if you want it to be a circle, feel free. Now for the moment, all we're going to do is a little curved line here. And for the front leg, we're going to do another curved line. Notice how I've put the line inside the circle here but not for the hind leg because we want to have that look of a back and a front leg. We're going to put a, a circle here that symbolizes the paws and then we're going to do the same for the back. But for the back you might notice that the legs are slightly different shaped so we're going to do a big curve to the right here and then we're going to straighten up and do a little curve to the left like so and then we want that to be appear somewhere in the middle of the two circles and then for the hind leg we're going to do a similar line but again like the front legs we're going to cross into the circle just a little bit and we're going to curve it similar to the inside leg and then curve down at our circles for the paws and he's looking really good now he has a tiny tail so i reckon because it's a cartoon character let's make our own tail and just do a nice big curve up like that now as i mentioned before we want this to be very light because now we're going to go over it and we're actually going to do the body and the shape of all the legs and the head, nose, mouth. So if you feel you've gone a little too dark like I have, you can just lighten it all just a little bit. Like so. A little bit more. Okay, and now what we're going to do is just follow the lines of the circle and feet. We'll start with the top, and from the top of the big circle to the back circle, we're just going to do a little curve and connect them like that. Come down, stop there. Now for the back leg, we're just going to continue this line down and we're not going to come near this line but we're going to follow the same kind of pattern where it's going to curve out and then we're going to attach it to the back of our paw like that now on the other side of this line we're going to add another line just with a little bit of a curl and we will do another big curve to finish off that leg just approaching that circle now we need to do his belly i reckon so we'll start again from the bottom of this circle and we're just gonna not a straight line again we're gonna do a bit of a curve up to that hind leg and stop right there. Now we're going to do the back leg. 
and we're going to do this similar curve again for the back leg but just not as big and curve it back to the back of the paw like so then we're going to do the other side like we did here and finish it off but we're not going to cross this line i'm going to leave it behind so it looks like it's a hind leg now now for the front we're going to start with this one which is the back leg and going to follow the circle and then a little bit of a curve down to the foot and the back of the foot like so now for this is the front leg so we're going to cross over the line just a little bit and one more time for the back and this will go behind the paw looking good now with this line we're going to connect it to the head so we're going to make our way up just to the left hand side of the head circle Make the start forming the snout. Now around here is the nose, so I'm going to put a little circle there. And you can make this bigger or smaller, however you like. I think I'm going to do a bit of a triangular, triangular, I should say, nose. I'm going to make it a little big, like that. So it's not quite a circle, not quite a triangle. And then we're going to finish off the snout. Then we're going to go up. As you can see on the picture, it kind of goes up. So let's use that to our image. And then follow the head all the way around to the back. And then we want a bit of a neck. So I think maybe out here. Like so, now it's starting to look like a bit of a dog. Can't forget our tail, so let's uh, work our way around that line that we did before. And I think we start wide at the base and then go to a smaller, slightly smaller tip at the top. And as you can see now, it's starting to look like a bit of a puppy dog. Now we're going to get a bit into the detail and we're going to do the paws so what we can do is erase now the skeleton that we did earlier which will reveal the dog that we've just drawn a lot clearer Okay, now what we want to do is we've got to add some paws in and some little feet. So real easy way to do this is just past this line we're going to start inside a little bit and then curve and then come straight down to the bottom like so. And then we're going to do for the base of the foot another curve and make our way up to the back of the legs like so. And we'll just add a couple of curved lines inside, which will make it look like he's got some paws. And then we're gonna simply repeat for all the other feet. Curve down, curve bottom to the back, And now for the front. What we could try and do, this is a front paw. 
As you can see here, these ones look like he's moving this way, but if you look at the picture, the paw's kind of facing the camera. So what we can do, instead of going to the end of the foot, we can do a curve here, but we're gonna curve a little bit to the other side of the leg. Curve it. And now what's gonna give the illusion that this is pointing to us is we're gonna do one paw here, one toe I should say, and the other one we're gonna curve it the other way just slightly. And see now it looks like it's pointing our way. And we're gonna finish off the back Curve, curve, one and two. If you like, you can add some nails to it if you wish. Um, but for this, I'm going to leave it. I like it a bit cleaner. So as this is a back leg, we're going to bring this line back. As you can see, that looks like it's in the background. That looks like it's in the background. And now it's time for the details. So now let's, we might add the eyes in I think now, and big eyes that emphasize the expression of the dog. So let's try and make him happy and excited. So around just near the snout here, let me just bring the snout in a little bit more. Then we're gonna do a big, oval like so just touching the snout and we also need a big smile don't we so I reckon what we can do is add curve here to make like the bottom lip and then with the snout we're going to bring him up just a little bit towards the eye, do a bit of a curve, and I reckon have his mouth just a little open, like so. And now finally we're gonna add the big fluffy ear. So he's got quite a big ear here, so I reckon just behind the eye, around here, we will come down. And what I'm gonna do is just round off his ear instead, he's got kind of sharp lines, but I think we simplify it. Bring him up and we won't go past the head. We're just going to stay inside and make our way back up to the top. And that's it. For the eyes, I think we do nice big pupil in the middle. Maybe another line, if we want to colour his eyes, I think we might do that. And let's add some eyebrows to him. Just to make it a little bit more fun. And we might just add one more eye out here. And then this eyebrow can actually go off the body and give it that cartoon look. Right. So now it's time to outline. I'm going to pause it here and I'll catch you on the other side once we're all outlined. Okay, so we've done an outline of our dog. Now we're just going to go and erase all the drawing that we did earlier. And with this picture, you can see that he's got a really cool coat on him. So what we're going to try and do the best we can is to replicate that 
and just simplify it so we don't have to go too close to what the dog looks like but let's do for instance we can curve this around and go to the back leg and he does have a little white bit here so we can maybe exaggerate that make a bit more of a patch and bring this up here bring it up to the back of the neck and then it will color in the ear I think and then maybe we can color in all around his eyes and leave his snout white I think and maybe we'll give him a paw as one color and Maybe we can add a bit of colour to his tail. Right, now it's time to draw and colour in. And there you have it, we did it. We did a cartoon beagle dog. I added a little bit of grass, just because I thought he needed to be outside and some little bits of shadowing, especially for the back legs to make it look like it was behind the dog. And there you have it. Hope you had some fun and see you next time.